Dinosaurs ruled the Earth for over 165 million years. There were many theropods throughout the Mesozoic era that were extremely formidable. We've picked 72 that dominate the others. In this show, we will talk about these dangerous animals, including when they lived, what they ate, their weaponry, and how humans would fare if these creatures were still alive. From the Tyrant Lizard King, to the Lord of the Lizard Eaters, to the Meat-Eating Bull, this is 72 Dangerous Animals Prehistory. Carnotaurus grew up to 30 feet long and weighed up to 4,600 pounds. It lived 72 to 69 million years ago in Argentina. Carnotaurus, the meat-eating bull, was a large ablosaur from the late Cretaceous period. Only one skeleton of Carnotaurus has ever been found, though it was extremely well preserved. Carnotaurus had thick horns on its head above its eyes, a feature that distinguishes it from all other carnivorous dinosaurs. It had a deep skull and a very muscular neck. Its horns and strong neck may have been used for fighting between males, where they would headbutt each other using their horns as shock absorbers. Its forelimbs were small and completely useless. Extensive skin impressions were preserved with the skeleton. These skin impressions came from the bottom jaw, neck, shoulder, rib cage, and tail. Its scales were 5 to 12 millimeters in diameter, and its neck, back, and tail were covered in large bumps measuring 1.6 to 2 inches in diameter. Carnotaurus was highly specialized as seen in its skull, vertebrae, and arms. Carnotaurus had long, slender hind limbs. Its skull measured approximately 2 feet long and was shorter and deeper than other carnivorous theropods. Its snout was broad. Carnotaurus's six inch horns would have had keratinous sheaths in life, making them slightly larger. Carnotaurus had a great sense of smell, but poor hearing and eyesight. It had 16 teeth in its top jaw and 15 on its bottom jaw on each side. Unlike other ablosaurs, which had shortened teeth, Carnotaurus had long and slender teeth. The front part of Carnotaurus' jaw was hinged and could bend downwards, meaning that it could open the front of its mouth while its jaws were shut. Carnotaurus fed on large prey such as sauropods, using its jaws to deliver slashing wounds to weaken them. It had a bite force of over 3,300 newtons. Carnotaurus was a fast runner, reaching speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. It couldn't make tight turns, however. It could easily outrun a human and take them out with a bite from its jaws. Carnotaurus takes first for now. Can it be beaten by a dynamic tyrannosaur? Dynamotar grew up to 33 feet long or larger and weighed up to 3,960 pounds. It lived 78 million years ago in the United States. Dynamotar, the powerful terror was a large tyrannosaur from the late Cretaceous period. Dynamoterror is closely related to Lithronax and Teratophonius. The holotype of Dynamoterror was approximately 30 feet long, but was a subadult, meaning that adults would have been slightly larger. It had two fingers and short arms, like other tyrannosaurs. It likely had large serrated teeth. It fed on large dinosaurs. Dynamotaur shared its habitat with a giant alligator Dinosuchus, which was featured in season one of our show. Dinosuchus could have preyed on Dynamotaur. Dynamotaur could easily take out an unlucky human. Dynamotaur can't top Carnotaurus. It takes second. Up next, a theropod from Wyhen. 
Y. Hinvenator grew up to 33 feet long or larger and weighed up to 4,400 pounds. It lived 166 to 164 million years ago in Germany. Y. Hinvenator was a large megalosaurid from the late Jurassic period. Y. Hinvenator was named after the Y. Hin Hills in Germany. Y. Hinvenator was closely related to Torvosaurus. The holotype was 9 years old and estimated to be 27 feet long, although it was a subadult and therefore not fully grown. An adult could have been more than 33 feet long. Y. Hinvenator was one of the largest known European theropods. It had medium-sized arms with large claws. Y. Hinvenator fed on medium-sized dinosaurs as well as washed-up carcasses of aquatic reptiles and fish. A human in its habitat would be easy prey. Y. Hinvenator takes third. Here comes a theropod once thought to be a tyrannosaur. Siamotyrannus grew up to 33 feet long and weighed up to 3,860 pounds. It lived 145 to 125 million years ago in Thailand. Siamotyrannus, the Siamese tyrant, was a large tetanurin dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period. The Siamotyrannus holotype was discovered in 1993 and named in 1996. Siamotyrannus was originally thought to be a tyrannosaur, but now its taxonomic ranking is unknown. It hunted dinosaurs such as ornithomimosaurs and titanosaurs as its prey. It had three fingers on each hand and medium sized arms. Its large size would have made it easy to get the upper hand on you, making you its prey. Siamo Tyrannus can't top our other three predators. It takes fourth. Our speed demon holds strong in first. Incoming, a mega raptorin with a mysterious name. Raptor grew up to 30 feet long and weighed up to 3,500 pounds. It lived 100.2 to 96.6 million years ago in Australia. Raptor was a large Megaraptoran from the late Cretaceous period. It is unknown what the name Raptor actually means. The word Raptor only exists very rarely in medieval Latin, not at all in classical Latin, and means violator. It is also possible that the person who named Raptor thought that the Latin word raptare meant plunderer, though this is a much different spelling than Raptor. The simplest explanation is that he just misspelled the word raptor, which means thief. Raptor, as a mega raptorin, had long arms and massive sickle claws on its fingers that it used to kill prey. Its claws would puncture its prey's organs, causing lots of damage and blood loss. After its prey was weakened, it could finish it off with a bite to the throat. It would have been able to pick up a human, and once it caught you, its claws would stab into you, rupturing your organs. Then it would take bites out of you until there was nothing left. As a mega raptorin, Rapator has the right weaponry to overcome everyone except for Carnotaurus due to its speed. Rapator takes second, pushing Dynamitera to third, Wyhinvenator to fourth, and Siamo Tyrannus to fifth. Next up, a monstrous murderer. Teratophonius grew up to 29 feet long and weighed up to 5,600 pounds. It lived 77 to 76 million years ago in the United States. Teratophonius, the monstrous murderer, was a medium-sized tyrannosaurine from the late Cretaceous period. The Teratophonius holotype specimen was around 20 feet long and was a subadult. Adults have been estimated at up to 29 feet long. Teratophonius had a deep skull, allowing for stronger jaw muscles and providing it with a higher bite force. Teratophonius has a very weirdly shaped skull, with the teeth on its top jaw following its jawline towards alignment with its eyes. When its mouth was closed, there would have been a massive gap between the top and bottom jaw with nothing to fill it. A group of four to five teratophonius individuals ranging from four to 22 years old were found preserved together at the Rainbows and Unicorns Quarry in southern Utah. This reveals that teratophonius was a pack hunter that lived in family groups. It had long curved teeth that it used to kill its prey. 
Teratophoni is fed on ankylosaurs, ceratopsians, and hadrosaurs. The apex predator in its environment was the super alligator Dinosuchus, which would have been more than capable of killing an adult Teratophonius. Teratophonius had the weaponry to easily kill a human. As a pack hunter, Teratophonius takes second, pushing Rapator to third, Dynamitera to fourth, Wyhenvenator to fifth, and Siamotyrannus to sixth. Carnotaurus, the speed demon, wins this episode and moves on to our finalists. Next episode on 72 Dangerous Animals Prehistory, the Tearing Lizard, Shark Tooth Lizard, and the Appalachian Lizard. Even though Tyrannosaurus is famous for having small arms, lots of other giant theropods did as well, including Giganotosaurus, Tyranotitan, Acrocanthosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and Mapusaurus. Additionally, Abelosaurs, such as Carnotaurus, had even smaller arms proportionately than Tyrannosaurus. Spinosaurids, such as Suchomimus and Spinosaurus, Allosaurus, and Megaraptorans all had very large arms and broke this trend within their groups. In each episode, we will rank the creatures from 1 to 6 on a scale of how potentially dangerous these creatures would be to humans, and the winner of each episode will show down with the other 11 finalists in the season finale to decide on which prehistoric creature was the ultimate human killing machine.